Hey, it's Randy from Funeral Funds of America. In this video, I'm going to show you the actual cost for $25,000 worth of burial, cremation, final expense, life insurance, or funeral funds for a 67-year-old male. Now, first thing you need to understand is you can go directly to our website at funeralfunds.com. We've got these free quotas on just about every page. You can select the state you live in. We are licensed in all 50 states, by the way. Select the coverage amount. Fill out your birthday, the rest of the info, click Get Quotes Now. It will take you to a page that's going to show you the best companies that are offering the lowest pricing. And that is that is so helpful because there's so many companies out there that offer these like teaser rates that you know seem too good to be true. They seem so low. And then when you get on the phone with them, you find out the coverage is low, and then they start upselling you. And in many cases, those policies can be 200% more expensive in first day coverage. So we can really help you out there and help you save some money. You can also call us at 888-862-9456. One of our agents can help you out over the phone, help you understand what you qualify for. Now, the first thing you should ask yourself as a 67 year old male is, you know, is $25,000 worth of coverage, is that going to take care of your final expense needs? Well, typically that would be either a cremation or a burial. Now, if you're looking at just a cremation, the average cost of a cremation these days right now is between one to two thousand dollars. If that's that's if you come home in a cardboard box or an urn. If you're gonna have a cremation in some sort of ceremony, probably around thirty five to forty five hundred dollars. Now, as far as coverage, we would typically recommend for that cremation where you come home in a uh, cardboard box or an urn. Probably five thousand to seven thousand dollars worth of coverage. If you want the ceremony and the cremation, probably seven to ten thousand dollars. Now, you know, you you know you're you're noticing that you're slightly overinsured to start with, and that's right because we want to make sure that when you buy the policy now, it's going to be inflation proofed in the future. And we know that, you know, we know prices do go up over time, so. We just want to make sure that there's enough coverage that if you die a decade or decades from now, that there's still going to be enough money. But if you die a little sooner, there's going to be a little extra money in there, maybe to cover some extra final expenses or medical bills or something like that. Now, we don't recommend people for burial or cremation, you know, really start to kind of look for twenty five, thirty, forty thousand dollars dollars $40,000. Because a lot of times when that happens, somebody's looking at leaving some money behind for children or friends or family or something like that. And most of the, to be, just be frank, most of the people we work with are on a fixed or limited income. And uh, we just they just got to watch the pennies. So we would typically recommend just get what you need for insurance. If you want to add more coverage later, we can always do that. We can always add more coverage later for you. But just make sure it's affordable. Now, if you've got the financial means and you want a whole lot more insurance, yeah, we can help you out with that. And that's a okay, but yeah, we just we just really we just really cautious of our our you know our clients' budgets. So now, if you want to get buried, the average cost of a burial right now in the United States is right around ten thousand dollars. So if you walk into a funeral home with a ten thousand dollar check, you know, chances are they're going to get it done. It's not going to be anything fancy. I can guarantee you that. But they should get it done. It's hard to imagine that they would say no and let that check walk out the door and you know, go down a couple of blocks and walk right, right to one of their competitors, you know, so they'll get it done. Just understand it's, it's, uh, it's going to be very, very simple. And uh, for a lot of people, that's fine. But, you know, for a 67 year old male, we would typically recommend probably 10, 15, maybe 20 to 25. Yeah. Maybe 25. You know, if you've got the means, but don't, don't feel obligated. I mean, if all you can afford is 10 grand right now, get to 10,000. Again, we can always come back and add another five thousand dollars, or three thousand, or seven thousand, whatever it is at the time. Uh, we we can help you out with with that. Now, one thing we always recommend is first day coverage or benefits. That's the only thing we help people with here at Funeral Funds of America. We do not recommend. We do not recommend those two year waiting period plans. I'll talk about that in a minute. But yeah, we don't recommend those. So. What we, um, you know, that first day coverage, a lot of people say, hey, you know, I really like that first day coverage, but I'm not in great health. So how can I qualify? And we just say, hey, your qualifying is our concern, not your concern. That's why we work with so many different insurance companies, 
because they all have different underwriting requirements. They all have different health questions. And right around 90, 95% of the time, we're getting people first aid coverage or benefits. So um, yeah, we can definitely help you out there. We're terrific at what we do. Really, the only reason you wouldn't qualify for first day coverage is if you had some sort of really significant or severe health or medical issue going on, like maybe maybe you had a terminal illness and you're going to pass away in the next 12 months, or maybe you had dementia or you're on dialysis or in a hospital or a nursing home. If that were the case, we'd probably refer you out to a different insurance company. Uh, something that seems to happen every week to us is though we get somebody that will call and say, hey, we, we had a family member pass away this last week and they didn't have insurance and we don't have the money. The body's down at the funeral home. The funeral director's not going to do anything until he gets a check in his hand. So we need to get this insurance really quick so that we can get a check in our hand to get that check to the funeral director. And we have to let them know there is no insurance company in the United States that is going to issue a policy on a dead person. It does not work out that way. You have to be alive to qualify for this insurance. And it is so tragic that that person who died, they knew they were going to die. They knew they had to take care of this at some point, and they, they just never did it. And now their family is suffering. They don't have the money, and they've not only got that financial hardship, but what an emotional hardship that this thing came out of the blue, and now they find out that they're responsible for taking care of this. And in many cases, that means they're just going to have to finance it and be in debt for years and years, paying this off just because somebody didn't do the responsible thing. And I'm guessing that's not the legacy you want to leave behind, that you know when you pass away, somebody else has to pay for this. And every time your name comes up, they think, oh my gosh, you know we had to pay this for them. What a terrible thing to do to us. So yeah, don't be that person. This insurance is affordable. Just uh, take care of it and get it done. We can help you out with that. So, yeah, we don't recommend the two-year waiting period plans. Colonial Pen is one of the more well-known ones. I, I think they're so well-known just because they advertise so much on TV, right? I mean, it seems like they advertise every seven minutes as a commercial or something like that. Boy, it sure seems that way. But, yeah, most people don't know that that 995 plan is a two-year waiting period. Yeah, not the best plan out there. There's other companies out there that have two-year waiting periods, too, like Mutual of Omaha, their United of Omaha line, AIG, Gerber, um, just a whole bunch of other ones. That's all they sell is two-year waiting periods, you know, to seniors in, in many cases. So a lot of these companies have done a pretty terrific job of convincing the, you know, the American consumer over age 50 that the only thing they'll ever qualify for is a plan with a two-year waiting period. And when we hear that, we just go, ha, 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 don't believe such nonsense. It is not true. We help people with first day coverage or benefits all day long. Now, our 67-year-old male probably watches that Colonial Pin 995 commercial, and they go, oh, ha, 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 I am so glad I waited until age 67 because, um, you know, I can probably get 20000 30000 40000 maybe even $50,000 for only $9.95. I am so smart. And then they talk with a Colonial Pen agent or they look up the pricing on Colonial Pen's website like we've done for you here. And they find out that $9.95, one unit of coverage, $9.95, is only going to pay $802 a month. Now, I don't think $802 is even going to pay for a cremation anywhere in the United States. And it doesn't really matter because this plan has a two-year waiting period that's not going to pay out anything in the next two years if you die of a health or medical reason. So why would you ever get a plan like that? And, you know, a lot of people would say that, you know, there's companies out there that offer really low pricing kind of teaser rates just to get you to call in. And uh, then you'll find out how ridiculously small the coverage is, and then they'll try to upsell you. And we're not saying that's happening here, but uh, you'd be the judge on that. Let's take a look here. Uh, one problem we're going to have here with Colonial Pen, age 67, they only offer up to 15 units. And uh, I'm pretty confident we're not going to get $25,000. Let's find out here. Yeah, look at that. 
15 units. They're going to max out at $12,030. That's, that's not even half of $25,000. And it's one fifty a month. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's not going to work. Let's go look at first day coverage and see what the pricing would be there. So we've got $25,000 here. Uh, Mayo, age 67. We're going to get a quote here. Again, we're going to come back and look at this. This is $12,000 for roughly one fifty. Look at this. I, I'm, I'm going to go up and show you these rates because I know you're, you're having troubles believing this. This is $25,000. $25,000. This is $144. Level. That level means first day coverage. Simplified issue means we work with this company. means we can get you approved the same day over the phone. Whew. Yeah. Good. But look at it. What? Think about this. Would you want $25,000 for $144 or would you like $12,000 for $149? And we find fairly consistently across the board, Colonial Pen is at or more than 200% higher in just about every case. And, you know, Colonial Pen will allow you to overpay on that policy for the rest of your life. And they'll, they'll, they'll stick you with that two-year waiting period. And, uh, you know, $150 for $12,000, roughly. Or would you rather have $144 for $25,000? Yeah, crazy. I don't know why you'd overpay. Maybe uh, maybe those TV commercials are really terrific. Maybe you like them. You got to read the fine print. Let's look at a couple other companies here. You know, uh, like here... Um, 144, like if even if you look at Lumico here, you know, that is 158 level coverage. So that's uh, $14 more a month. So that's $168 a year. And uh, that would be right around $1,680 roundabout after 10 years that you would overpay. Why would you do that? You know, don't if you sign up for these plans and you're overpaying from the very first day, Man, it adds up. Let's look and see if there's any other companies. You'll be able to see all these different companies on our quarter. Oh, here's one, like Lincoln Heritage. You know, they're, uh, they're a fine company, I guess. But, I mean, ooh, look at their pricing. Ouch. It is level coverage. That's good. But look at the pricing. Yeah, 187 So they've got a deal where when you pass away, they will supposedly call two, three different funeral homes, kind of get the best pricing, maybe do a couple other things. But... But they charge a premium for that. They charge a higher price for that. And, you know, that's 187 versus 144 So Lincoln Heritage is about $43 or more a month. And that would be right at around $516 a year. After 10 years, that would be right around $5,160 more, just roughly. But... You know, think about that. Is it worth paying an insurance company an extra five thousand plus dollars to make two or three phone calls and do a couple other things that may only take an hour or so? A lot of people would say that's a pretty good payday for the insurance company. I, I would probably tend to agree with that. But what can you do about it? Well, what we recommend is we provide a free funeral and estate planning guide, and you just download that off our website, print it out. And fill it out. And once you're done, you just keep it with your insurance policy. And in, in that funeral and estate planning guide, you just say who gets what, what goes where, and then what you want done after you're, after you're gone. And what is so nice about that is you've not only protected your family financially with the insurance policy, but emotionally with that funeral and estate planning guide, they don't need to worry about a thing because you've listed out everything for them in advance. And you can change it at any time as well. But yeah, I mean, when you pass away, they're going to know that you really did love them or you really did care about them and that you really protected them both financially and emotionally and that you were not only thinking of them in life, but thinking them at a time when you wouldn't be around to help them as well. What a wonderful gift. What a wonderful legacy to leave behind. They will love you for that. You can go directly to our website. We've got these free quarters right here. We've got a special quarter for our YouTube viewers, funerals.com forward slash YouTube. You can get the best rates, most discounts there. 
And we've got 888-862-9456. You can call us at our toll-free number. Our agents can actually help you out with that. But, you know, whether you've got an existing policy and you just want to price shop it to make sure you got the best deal, maybe you want to add coverage to it, we can help you out with that. If you are just looking for a brand new policy, we can help you out with that, get the lowest pricing. And if you just want information or help or, you know, want to kind of need some understanding on what may be best for your unique situation, we can help you out with that. So we look forward to that day when we can help you get the most amount of coverage for the least amount of money. And uh, we'll just enjoy helping you out with that until that day comes. You stay safe. You take care. You have a nice day. Bye-bye.